and we're at the Jungle in Windsor, where tonight we bring you girls basketball. It's the Cardinal Newman Cardinals in first place, winners of 99 straight league games, taking on the Windsor Jaguars. Should be a good matchup here tonight at Windsor High School. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Cox, along with Mike Mullins. And Mike, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. Good win for Cardinal Newman against West County earlier in the week, although they did get off to a slow start. Has to give Windsor maybe a little confidence, and I imagine Newman will want to come back and really fire up for this one. Trying to get 100 wins in a row in league play. That's unbelievable. 100 wins, unheard of. I'm sure that Windsor got... That Windsor will come out strong. They're a senior-laden team. They've got a lot of players that have been on varsity for three or four years. Uh, they're very athletic. They should give Windsor a good test. For Here's the starting lineup. Reese Searcy, the point guard, had a great game against West County. For Windsor, their leading scorer is Gilbertson, number 21. She is a great player for Joe Pasolacqua in his fifth year. And we are underway. Windsor in the white with gold and black trim. Cardinal Newman, of course, in their Cardinal with gold trim. Winters chooses to go man off the bat. Oh, good move by Bernetti, didn't pop. Bernetti misses that one. Nice little drive on that left side, however. And Windsor has the ball now. See if they can get Gilbertson going early on. She's averaging about 13 points a game, looking for over a thousand on her career. There's Ari Johnson with a nice rebound. She had a good game against West County as well. A lot of rebounds. There's Abby Mullins on the right side. She was red hot in the tournament down in San Diego. Had a bunch of great games down there in that tournament. She did. Nice drive there. It's two drives right off the bat from Newman that just didn't drop, but they're getting good looks. Little four court press here. Kate Schott guarding the balls. They bring it up. She's the freshman from Ukiah. She is great little player. Adrian Novak tries to get it to Gilbertson. Instead, it's Maddie West. West backing in the paint. Gets her own miss. And Put Maddie West scores off the glass. She's a scrappy player, been on varsity for four years. If you don't keep her off the glass, you'll get hers. So Maddie West starts the scoring. There's Reese Searcy. Oh. Great pass to Ari Johnson. And a tie-up is called. The possession Ooh. arrow favors Windsor. Could have gone either way. They called the tie-up. That's fair. Good drive and dish by Searcy. That was open. Again, chooses to go full court man-to-man. -man. Let's see what happens. Shot again. Guarding that point guard as she brings it up the floor. Johnson got a hand on that, but couldn't knock it away. Outside shot is off the mark that time by Grace Boyle. And we've got our first foul call. It's going to go against Windsor. Both teams coming out very aggressive. It's Joe Pasolacqua on the bench on the left. He's done two stints here at Windsor. Also some time up in Hillsburg as Reese Searcy drives and scores to get Newman on the board. Searcy continues to be aggressive going to the rim as she was against West County. Beautiful shot. Windsor trying to get it down low. Yep. Oh. Bounces it. This is Gilbertson, the leading scorer. She'll fire it all the way back up to the top to Grace Boyle. Nice back cut. Back to Gilbertson, but Kate Schott is there for the steal. Schott bringing it up the floor, finds Brunetti on the left wing. Brunetti known more for her defense than her offense, but Reese Searcy will Step fire back. a three. Johnson fighting for the rebound with Gilbertson, a tie-up called. Possession arrow favors Windsor. So starting out cold shooting with both teams are so scrappy on the loose ball. You love to see the effort. Abby Mullins misses that one from the outside. That was a deep three. It was a good look. Newman has some confident shooters. It just depends on any given night, whether it's <laughs> going to be Morrison off the bench or it's going to be some of the other players that have been red hot. Martinez has had some great games off the bench as well. Shot can light shot it up on any it. given night. And, of course, Abby Mullins has had some tremendous games. Been very consistent. Reese Searcy can shoot it as well. 
Wins are trying to work their offense, and Searcy has the steal. Reese Searcy bringing it up the floor now. Gets it to Bernetti, left wing. Offensive, no, it's a defensive rebound. Good position that time by Matty West. West down the oh, lane. Left great wide pass. open. Oh, Couldn't great pass finish. by West. Adriana Novak, point blank, missed that one. She was wide open. Good pass. Both teams seem a little tight. Searcy again. There are a few fans in the house, but not a ton, as Searcy will work her way to the line. They're allowing a number of fans. I'm not sure what the number was tonight, but definitely not a full house. No. Searcy makes it 3-2. to two. She continues to stay aggressive going to the rim. Second one good also, both. so Cersei hits both. Defensive battle to start this one. Yeah, both these coaches really believe in defense. They preach it and they teach it. Up top it goes, Skyler Westover. Maddie West tries to bounce it down low. Jags hang on. Westover tries a little scoop. There's Gilbertson with Gilbertson an offensive with foul back. and put back. Big shot for Gilbertson. Again, just a loose ball. Gilbertson got there and put it back. You'll see her watch her fight inside. She gets in inside of Searcy and the put back. That's a beautiful play. It's going to be that kind of game. Who goes after the loose balls? Who gets the extra shot? Nice effort by Gilbertson. Gilbertson doesn't complete the three-point play. However, we are tied up. 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> Leah Martinez just checked in. There she is going to the left side. Ari Johnson, an oh, offensive rebound. Boy, both teams have missed some chip shots. 4-4. Four, four. This is Grace Boyle dishing off. Maddie West back to Boyle. Up top it goes. West over for three. Nice, nice position. Reese Searcy was right there for the rebound. One more. Got her open? Nope. Searcy with a right left Oh, bank. beautiful move. Ari Johnson right there. Oh. She has the putback. Searcy continues to stay aggressive. That opens things up for the rebounder as the double team had to happen. Great position that time by Ari Johnson. 6-4. Nice takeaway. Abby Mullins gets a hand in. Leah Martinez, two-on-one with Johnson. Johnson. Nope. Got it. Nope. Close to a travel, but she got away with it. Full court pressure for Newman. They back out a little bit now, and the Jags will get into their half court trailing. 8-4. Novak gives it to Westover. Westover is a junior. Had a chance to coach for a couple years. She's a good little player. Boyle has her shot blocked by Bernetti. Bernetti, one of the top defenders in the entire North Bay. And they got going a little fast that time and threw it out. Here's Ari Johnson with a great offensive rebound. See the help by Gilbertson. That leaves the backside open. Ari cleans it up and puts it in. Great drive by Searcy. Opens so many things up. Funny, not a large crowd, but they're loud. Yeah, it's interesting. You, you hear the players more than you would right. normally when the when the house is more full of fans. But a few parents here. That's about it. No students. Nice drive by Searcy. She kicks it out Good to look. Martinez. Pena, Janelle Pena fighting for the rebound with Gilbertson. The possession arrow this time will go the other way. But again, nice effort by Gilbertson. That was a putback by Pena, but Gilbertson got there, tied it up, and they end up with the ball. Excellent hustle by Gilbertson. Coach Joe's got his team ready. Yeah, 
Yeah, one of the veteran coaches in the area. He's been at it a long time. Grace Boyle cool. sticks one from the side. Nice shot for Grace. Boyle, a solid senior. She'll hit that shot. She does a lot of things well. Plays good defense. Knocks that shot down. Close to a three, but she was inside the line. Martinez gives it up now. Pass down low. Nice move by Pena. on the outside gets it to Abby Mullins Morton pass up top shot will chase this down Martinez bounce pass to Mullins Mullins with a great drive, flips it up with the left hand, and she'll go to the free throw line. Nice pass by Leo Martinez. Good aggressive move by Mullins. There's the Boyles. Nice shot. Nice 12-footer by her. She'll knock that down all day. Mullins needs to stay aggressive with the driver. She won't be able to get that three off. It gives her some space. And she got it to 10-6. Seriously, back in for Mullins. Here we go. Martinez, Moritzen will work up top. And now Shot moves up. Oh. Almost a steal for Moritzen. Westover guarded by Janelle Pena. Under a minute to go, first quarter. Pena trying to get on the floor for it. Newman very aggressive defensively, knocked out by the Cardinals. It'll stay with Windsor. Both teams playing really good defense. Grace Boyle, and she's fouled by Martinez. Could have gone either way, pretty good defense there. Little contact in the end. Boyle gets the first one. Nice shot. She's a good shooter. Coach Monica Myrtle in her seventh year here looking for 100 in a row in league play. How about that? Unheard of in Sonoma County. A couple new players checking in. Didn't get the second. Oh. Offensive rebound. Nice, nice hustle effort. by Jen Doherty. Very nice effort. Windsor can tie it with a three at the end of one. More to nice defense. Shot no good. Pena stolen by Doherty. Good position. Moritzen has it as the clock expires. Last shot. Let's see what kind of shot they can get. Reese to the rim. Searcy will get a shot in before the buzzer. Nice basket. Reese. Searcy. And there it is. The quarter comes to an end. Windsor had a chance to get it a little tighter. Couldn't convert there at the end. We've completed one here at the jungle in Windsor. It is 12-7. Cardinal Newman over the Jags. We'll be back with more action here from Windsor High School in just a moment. Today we ask God's blessing on this center of seeking, learning, and teaching what is true. Even though this is an existing school, in many ways it is now a new school. We dedicate this building to the education of youth, to the progress of the sciences, and to learning. 
here's that uh, way the quarter ended. Very nice job by Newman to get this off before time expired. And just a continuation from the West County game where Reese Searcy just took over the second half and got to the rim over and over again. Nice drive by her. Kind of the game we expected. Two scrappy teams. The shooting wasn't as good as it usually is, but they're both playing really tough beat. Hard-nosed defense. As here we go to start quarter number two. Newman with the ball to start things off. Brunetti with a nice drive and some easy money. Brunetti, beautiful drive. Defense was not there for no. Windsor that time. Brunetti recognized the right side was open and took it very strongly. Seven-point lead for the Cardinals. Westover tries to slide that through, but Kate shot. Playing nice defense, has the steal. Shot runs the floor, gets it to Martinez. Now it's Searcy again. Nice fake. Gets it oh, to Ari ball. Johnson. Out to Brunetti, wide open. Three ball, no good. Searcy going high up for the rebound. Shot for three. No. Another opportunity as they get a couple offensive rebounds. So this is where Windsor has to hang in as they substitute some of those super seniors. They come in, their bench has to stay strong so this thing doesn't get away from them. Great pass, Johnson can't finish, Martinez is fouled. Leah Martinez going to the line. Martinez is six man off the bench, she just comes in with so much energy. Great second, second chance effort there. Ari seriously with a point blank miss there. Doesn't get the first. A couple seniors come back in. Coach Joe noted, recognized that right away. This is the pair of Brunetti with the rebound. Well nice done. offensive rebound by Julia Brunetti. Here's Reese Searcy now. She'll pull it back up top. Reset the offense for Newman. She's staying strong. Searcy bumped. Doesn't get the roll. Nice position that time yep. underneath by the Jags. Boyle. Oh. Searcy fouls Boyle from behind. Third team foul against Newman. A couple good offensive possessions by Newman, but no score out of it. Coach Pasalacqua shouting instructions. Novak looking for help. Flips it to Maddie West. Taken away, Julia Bernetti. She's got Mullins, which she's... Finds Mullins. Tries the reverse, no good. Skyler with the rebound, good rebound. West over, swiped away by Searcy. It'll stay with Windsor. Yeah, if you like tough, hard-fought oh. defense, you've come to the right place. These teams are scrapping and getting up and down the floor as well. I'll tell you, every, every pass is getting challenged. Every shot is getting challenged. Really good defense right now. She'll knock that down. Nope. No good. Martinez will take it coast to coast. She's aggressive. She, she does. Goes. Doesn't get the finish, however. Novak keeps it alive for Windsor. 5.40 to go. There's Gilbertson. She's tough. Nice move. Oh, great move. Oh. And Gilbertson will go to the line. But there you see the savvy senior with the spin move. Doesn't get the first. Free throw shooting. <laughs> Problematic right now for both teams. Both teams, I agree. I think both teams are a little bit tight. Second one out as well. Windsor could have used those. Here comes Brunetti. Almost taken back away by Matty West. This is Abby Mullins up top. Talk 
talked a little bit about that West County game. They did get off to kind of a slow start. It was a tight game until the fourth quarter. They seemed to find another gear as Kate shot, spins, and scores for Newman. Great move to the rim. The thing she can do for a freshman. Very nice. Oh, Bernetti with a seal. Oh. Wester with a steal back. Underneath, Searcy diving, has it. Tries to bounce it through, and Monica Mertical took a timeout there. Thirty second timeout for Monica. Well, we can say it's been a scrappy game, but not a well played game as of yet. Tonight's game is sponsored by McCormick and Company Homes and Loans, a family tradition of experience, trust, and loyalty, specializing in real estate sales and listings, private money investments, and unique financing. Let our family help your family find a solution to all of your real estate needs. And as proud Cardinal Newman sponsors and alumni, all consultations are complimentary. Call Marty, Rory, or James today at 526-1700. McCormick and Company, Homes and Loans. Moritzen checks in for Martinez. Seriously stays aggressive. Moritzen with a drive and dish. The shot clock expires. Well, I don't know. That it was would just seem like an awful short shot clock. That's interesting. It was a tie-up down here, and we got possession. That 30 seconds went awfully quickly. Yeah, I don't think they changed it from <laughs> Windsor's possession. I don't think they changed it when the possession went back over to Newman. I think you're right and nobody recognized it. Yeah, that was about a 10 second <laughs> shot clock they had there. The defense is just smothering. Ari Johnson takes it away. Double team, she gets it to Searcy. Nice pivot, nice pass. They got numbers, there's for Searcy again. She missed it. A little strong, good drive. Tried to go up with that left hand and couldn't get it. Well, did a nice job not fouling her. Four minutes to go, second quarter. Pass underneath to Gilbertson. Gilbertson got a little too far under, and she's going to go back to the line. That gets the Windsor bench fired up. I'll tell you, Gilbertson again, just relentless. Shot blocked the first time. She gets it back, goes up strong. They're going to need her tenacity. Gilbertson, who shoots 42% from the field. This is a strong athletic player. She's about 70% from the free throw line as well. She's a good overall shooter. She is. There we go. Monica Myrtle still, I think, a little displeased with that quick shot clock. <laughs> Reese with a step back. Seriously, that was a good looking oh. shot, but it just was a little short. She had great rotation on that. Windsor with a couple stops in a row. They got a little momentum. Shot pick, picks up full court. Shot making it difficult for Westover to bring it up the floor. Nice defense. Good defense the by the freshman, absolutely. Oh. Used up a lot of the shot clock just getting the ball up, and there's a basket and a foul. Great play by Gilbertson. She'll have a chance to complete a three point play. She did a great job just getting to the pass in general, and then she just muscled her way to the rim. Excellent finish. Does complete it. Nice job. Timeout taken. Here it is again. She out muscles for the for the pass and then just forces her way to the rim. Great job. That's her strength and typically free throw shooting too. So she's keeping him in this game right now. Tonight's game is sponsored by W Real Estate. Founded in Sonoma County, W Real Estate has built a solid reputation of excellent customer service, attention to detail, and results. We're a local company 
with a global marketing program. And our team of professional agents know the North Bay like no other. Consistently recognized as one of the top real estate brokerages in the North Bay, our agents work here, play here, and are active members of the community. Whether you need assistance buying or selling, we provide unparalleled service and expertise that will exceed your expectations. W Real Estate. Well, Dave, if you're, if you're Windsor, you got to be happy right here. Down five with a little bit of time left in the first half. Giving yourself an excellent chance. Scores table was trying to get somebody's attention. I'm not sure what it was. Both teams have six team fouls now. There's Searcy, and she's fouled. Reese Searcy will go to the line. Searcy, a senior leader on this team, has really been able to provide that type of leadership all year long. First one good. good. She provides that spark and that energy for them. And she's been on some of the great Newman teams, although not playing as important a role when she was younger. She has de definitely developed into that leader that they need this year as that's, a senior. That's right. This is her time. The hand up. Yep, Gilbertson all day. Well, that's two or three possessions in a row. Well, they'll, they'll dribble a little bit, get it to Gilbertson. Get her going right with a head of steam. Yeah, Gilbertson back to the line. There you go. Here's that three-point play earlier by Gilbertson. Watch her out-muscle shot for the, for the pass and then just muscle her way to the rim. Beautiful shot. Nice hustle. Nice play. Throwing it off. One of the Cardinals that time was Isabel Tabalakchi. Very, very nice play by Bella. Absolutely. Not only getting to it, but having the, the fruits of mind to throw it off of the, the Newman player. Well done. Gives him a second chance. And there's Gilbertson again. Oh. And Gilbertson will go back to the line again. Bernetti got her. Both teams are in the bonus now. Well designed play. She comes off a screen going right, which we know she loves to do. Randy Marion, one of the referees tonight. Our referees working the game are Randy Marion and Rod Materi. Gilbertson single-handedly keeping them in this game. This must be her 10th free throw. And she pulls Windsor to within four. The next 248, big for both teams going into halftime. Windsor comes into tonight with a 7-7 seven and seven record, 1-0 and in league. Newman has played some really tough competition this year. They've been in some big tournaments. They've played against Archbishop Mitty. Uh, Searcy takes an extra step and travels. Good defense by Mitty. Forced her to slow her steps when she slowed her steps. It turned into a to a travel. Absolutely, third step was a travel. Windsor can close it to one or two. It's tough because I think she wanted to shoot earlier, but she took the contact with the legs and couldn't quite get the handle on it. Nice pass nice underneath. Nice back cut again. That is Jessica James. James is a first-year player on this team, and she's very good. Seriously? Cersei gets the lay in at the other end. If she gets ahead of steam, you're in trouble. Four point game here with a minute and 40 to go in the first half. Windsor trying to break Newman's 99 game winning streak in the North Bay League. Good defense by Mullins. Cersei in transition. She's Cersei. got Brunetti. Doing a nice job of not forcing it there and looking for teammates. Nice drive by Brunetti. Oh, she missed it. Nice baseline, but she could not get that one to go. 
That's kind of been the story of the half. Newman's getting good shots, but not hitting them. And Windsor's hanging in there. Here's Cece who kind of gets slowed up and then takes the extra step. Oh. Definitely looking for Gilbertson inside. Susan did a nice job. Oh, nice move. Beautiful land. Riley Sweatsloot. Sweatsloot, her first year on varsity. Nice move to the rim. We got a two point game with a minute left. Pena. Action to Bay. Oh. Bones with a foul, we're on the one one Joe P substituting quickly. Here's that last basket by Searcy. Just a great little hesitation to drive. As Bella Tabalacci goes to the line. She can tie this game. Shoot it again, lane violation. Bernetti stepped into full release. That's a big one. Gives her a second chance to tie the game. She, and she it. does. Clutch shot by Tabalachi. Newman can work it down to about five seconds. No, they, they shoot early. Seriously? Oh. Brunetti steals it underneath. No foul call. Okay. Take away by Boyle. They, they playing for one? Yep, they're holding for one. Okay. They can take the lead. Good shooter. Boyle tries one from long range. No good. Newman has plenty of time. Not sure why Boyle forced that up so early. Here's Searcy now. Down the lane and oh, in. Man. Reese Searcy at the buzzer. What a momentum change that was. Wow. It looked like Windsor would have a chance to take the lead. They shot early, didn't get it. Gave Newman the opportunity to go down and score at the buzzer, and they lead it by two at the intermission. Both teams heading off the floor. Great first half. We're in for a good one here at the jungle in Windsor. Should be a really good second half. Yes. Stay with us as we'll be back with more from Windsor in just a moment. because it felt like home when I first visited. I think that my parents wanted me to have a place where I can succeed academically, and they found that Cardinal Newman was the best place for that. There's definitely a sense of pride, you know, either wearing my Letterman jacket out and saying, you know, I'm at Cardinal Newman, I'm representing this community, and I'm proud of it. I know the sense of community that I get here will, you know, it's something that's very, very important to me and that I hold close to my heart, and so yeah, there's definitely a sense of pride. It's kind of a whole community mindset that shows that and something that's great I feel like is everybody wants to succeed themselves but they want their peers and classmates to succeed as well. I would say the most unique thing about Newman is the community. I just really like that if even outside the classroom if something's going on and I need help with something I can either ask a teacher or someone in the office and they're more than willing to help. We were really looking for our boys to feel like they were in a place where everybody knew their name, people were looking out for their well-being, and just a small, um, supportive culture. 
Cardinal Newman High School is a very special place. It is a faith community where everyone is known and cared for, and we grow and develop into the people that God calls us to be. We're challenging them to get better at things, to push themselves, to grow in all those different areas, whether it's intellectually or athletically or spiritually. I definitely uh, care a lot about my faith. It's a big part of who I am. It feels great knowing that I go to a school where I can express myself and my faith and not be judged by anybody. I didn't grow up religious um, in my family and so being exposed to the Catholic religion really helped me grow as a person spiritually and being able to learn about other people's experiences through that has allowed me to grow as a person morally and as a student at Cardinal Newman. I think the most important quality that a student at Cardinal Newman needs to have is a willingness to grow. So connecting that with our mission, our mission is that students will grow mind, body, and spirit. So we need to make sure in terms of mind that students are willing to challenge themselves academically, um, they're motivated to do their best. We also want them to be a part of our student body, so get involved in sports, clubs, the arts, whatever that means to them, so that they're a part of our community, because that's such a huge part of what we offer. Cardinal Newman's success in helping students grow, whether it be academically, in arts, athletically, and in service, is really coming down for two things. One, the school's mission and tradition, that as a Catholic school, it's an institution of service and care, and that it wants to bring people in and help them grow and, and not only reach their potential, but to help them be able to contribute. And the other great strength is really the faculty. Those who are teaching and coaching and developing, they help people grow because they put their best into. They care about the people they're working with, they want to help them, and I think the students benefit greatly by having people who know them well. I think having the student-teacher connection has been a very big advantage for me and being able to communicate with my teachers and not feel like I can't. My classmates that know me would say, first off, that I don't really talk much. I'm a pretty shy person. I feel like I've put myself out there as a leader. Maybe not firsthand, but leading by example. And just that means always being on your schoolwork, always being a good person. Coming to Newman, all my teachers and coaches, when they see me struggling with something, they take note of that and try and help me overcome that. So that's just one thing that's helped me. So we're asking them to engage with the community outside of our school, outside of their families, to use those gifts and talents. We want them to go out and be contributing members of society. The goal of our Cardinal Newman Catholic education is to form our students in mind, body, and spirit. Mind, body, and spirit so that they are ready to go out and be adults in the world. The most important trait that I learned at Cardinal Newman was a sense of service. You know, for myself, at that time and age, the world had kind of been around me, and it changed my attitude. So I think service is something that students give not only their family, but to the community, to the school, is one of the most important things that happens here, and certainly the most influential thing I learned here. We were greatly impacted by our oldest son's um, community service learning project, or CBSL. And I know a lot of schools now have to do service hours, but we really saw firsthand how Newman took it to the next level. And for our son, it, it turned into not just community service, but it really turned into a calling for him and something that really got him excited about going to school. And we really felt like it went hand in hand with the social justice aspect that Newman's trying to promote and teach and to have kids uh, get the opportunity to learn firsthand and give back to their communities was really a valuable, powerful lesson for not just our son, but it trickled down and got the whole family excited about his opportunity. I think it really culminated with his experience with the college counselors that were just top-notch. We didn't seek any outside college counseling, just what was offered in-house. We just felt very attended to and a part of this community. Sonoma County has been through a lot and I think our decision to um, send William here and we have a younger daughter who will go here as well was really affirmed when you see the Cardinal Newman community come together. I think that we've all grown to appreciate one another, especially since we've gone through so many hardships together. We've learned how to help each other as a community, even if we're not necessarily good friends. We've all learned that we can lean on each other for support when we need to. 
Me and my friends get a big group and we go support the people in the dance class at their dance recitals. Because of that smaller scale, you're known more as an individual and your value is greater within a smaller school because the school needs you to contribute. It's made me a better person and that's just one of the greatest things about this school. I think for Cardinal Newman education to be valuable, it has to be something where the student not only feels they receive, but they can give. And what I felt always is that Cardinal Newman gives a well-rounded education that helps the whole person learn and, and, and educates them in, in all facets of their life. And I think that is really the most important thing, education, that it be complete, that it be caring, and that it bring the best out of the student. And we're back here at the half, 22 to 20. Close ball game, maybe a lot closer than some would have expected. Dave Cox and Mike Mullins back with you here at the half. And uh, both teams playing tough defense. Newman kind of the same start they had against West County. Uh, we'll see if they can have the same result they had against West County, which is a much better second half than first half. No doubt. I think closer than a lot of people thought. I'll tell you, Winds are staying in with their experience and their seniors, staying in, staying close, getting into Gilbertson as much as they can. She's really carrying them. Winds are missing a lot of point blank shots, which isn't helping. But Winds are really doing a good job. Nobody would have thought it would have been 22 20 at half. Here's the first half highlights. Nice play right there by Windsor. Ari with a nice offensive rebound and put back. Grace Boyle getting it going from that short corner. That was a nice pass and a very good shot. It was. Searcy was just money, though, driving the lane. Windsor's going to have to find a way to stop her from doing that. Well, they've decided to take the three away, so if they do that, the lanes are open. Here's Gilbertson muscling up. She got a three-point play right there. Then here comes Searcy again. Just power move, pass to player, and to the rack. This is the way the half ended. Searcy again, great first half. All right, we're ready to start the second half. And away we go. Windsor can tie or take the lead with this first possession. Back to Gilbertson again, as she muscles her way in. Oops, she lost the ball. And she's on the line. Randy Marion right there to make the call. Newman can now add to the lead. Kate shot. She had a similar move in the first half. There's Ari Johnson with an offensive rebound. Gets to Bernetti. Bernetti to Abby Mullins for three. Off the mark. Newman's been cold from the outside, uncharacteristically, throughout this game. Gilbertson, there she goes to the rim. Right hand dribble. And Gilbertson is fouled again. She is making a living at the free throw line tonight. Absolutely. First one good. She is on fire from the line. Second one good as well. We're tied up. Jack's gaining confidence as they continue to hang in there with Cardinal Newman. Absolutely. Eight shot. Got wow, it. That's big three right there. Newman finally gets one to go from beyond the arc. So that time Windsor chose to hang back a little bit and take the, the driving lane away and left shot wide open. 
Just wrap it around again. Westover, she almost lost it. Shot almost got the steal. Great defense great by defense, Kate Shot. Very nicely done. She also gets the board. Shot running the floor now. Gets it to Brunetti. Shot will try for two in a row. And it squirts out of bounds. Maddie West was trying to get the rebound. Newman will hang on to the possession. Good effort by Mullins. Off the foot of West. Brunetti takes it up top. Three-point lead for Newman. So they've chosen to stay really tight with the shooters. And they're allowing that driving lane. They're not leaving Mullins open and they're not leaving shot open very often. A quick steal by Brunetti. Cersei for three. That would have been a momentum changer right there. But Brunetti keeps the possession alive. Shot gets it to Brunetti at the post. Bounces it underneath to Ari Johnson. Another point blank miss. Nice defense. Kind of made her adjust that shot a little bit. And again, it didn't go. Definitely. Good Gilbertson. job by Windsor. Looking for Gilbertson once again. Reese and Cer Cersei with a steal. Cersei all the way to the rack. And she's oh. fouled from behind. Shot fake. Kicks out the shot. She's got a beautiful shot. Look at that. That was definitely all net. And Joe Pasalacqua would like to take a timeout. He's sensing a momentum change, and I'm with him. It seems like they've changed up their defense a little bit. They're taking away the drive from Searcy, and doing that, they're leaving our three-point shooters open. So I think Coach Joe wants to talk about it a little bit. Good call by Joe Pasalacqua as he takes the timeout. We'll step aside ourselves and be back with more here from Windsor High School in just a moment. 1914, the California Interscholastic Federation has led the development of education-based interscholastic sports that help student-athletes succeed in their lives and pursue victory with honor. Representing more than 1,500 public and private schools statewide, the CIF sets direction for the future by building awareness and support, improving the participation experience, and establishing consistent standards and rules for competition, and 735,000 student-athletes in California. The California Interscholastic Federation, committed to developing student-athletes of character. All right, so 27-22, Joe Pasolacqua taking a time out there. Coach Flo also working things a little bit. It's going to be Searcy at the line shooting a pair. Got it. Second one's good as well. Newman on a 7-0 run. Windsor needs a good possession here. Shot playing great defense. Oh. She, 10 seconds? Nope. She made a cross. Barely. Grace Boyle. Gives it back over to Westover. Westover backing spin. in on Bernetti and she's Not fouled. Westover will go to the line. Westover does that well. She'll start one way and spin the other direction. It's tough to stop without fouling. Westover a junior for this team. <laughs> Got them both. Good free throw shooting for Windsor. That stops a 7-0 run. Windsor needed that. Needed that indeed. Yeah. Let's see if they choose to, to guard the, the driving lane or the three-point shoes. Let's see. You see the lane is wide open. There goes Searcy. Oh. Shot wide open. Kate shot. Doesn't get this one. That's a tough way to live, though. Oh, steal by Westover. Westover has it. Two on three. Westover all the way, and Johnson fouls her. Yeah. 
Just a good aggressive take to the rim. Good job, Westover. And they are allowing a few fans in here. I'm thinking the number might be about 50. What do you think? It, <laughs> it was less than that last night at the boys' games. I didn't see this many parents around, but I'm thinking they're going with 50. The number's gone up a little bit, sure. Westover hits a third in a row. Good for her. Athletic director Jamie Williams doing a really good job of making sure that everything was under protocol today, helping us get set up so that we could live stream the game for those parents who weren't able to attend, weren't on the list. Hope you're enjoying our coverage. Really appreciate all Jamie's help. And we got a good one here. Yeah, definitely. That's a, a nice good move, game. a shot. And a miss, another boy, miss. Boy, Newman is going to look back and count those misses underneath. There's been probably seven, maybe, I, I'd say. And Gilbertson, you have, you have to really get a, get a take the second half. Oh, travel. Yep. Turnover. Looked like, looked like Novak dribble. stepped on the line. Looked like dribble, dribble handoff trying to get the ball to Gilbertson, and she just lost her, lost her footing. So Gilbertson takes a break. This is interesting. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, this will be a key stretch right here. Agreed. They do have Jessica James on the floor. Mullins to the rim. And Abby Mullins will go to the free throw line. So Windsor has definitely chosen to take the three-point shot away and widen those driving lanes, and, and Newman's taking advantage of it. Short up front rim. This is one of those games that's going to come down to free throws. I think you're right. Okay, with Gilbertson on the bench, let's see where the offense comes from. Westover, a nice crossover move. Did she go to the rim? Nope, she just did it. Tie up. Martinez reached in, and the possession arrow favors Newman. Clutch we'll play right there. We'll see how patient Coach Joe is. Five-point lead for Newman. Janelle Pena drives. Pena with beautiful the left move. hand. Beautiful move by Janelle Pena. Again, allowing that drive, trying to cover the three-point shooters. Okay. Ball hawking by Kate. Shot, and she gets called for the foul. It's been a pretty, been a pretty physical game, but okay. Brunetti replaces the shot. Gilbertson back in. Yeah, but that had to happen, right? Yeah. They were looking for some offense. I'll be surprised if they don't go right to her. Nice back cut. Boyle with a nice back cut. Oh, she missed it. And we got a tie-up. Another tie-up. This time the possession arrow is pointing the other way. Good shot fake by Pena into the rim. She is quick. Gilbert's is calling for it. Okay, she's got it. Interesting matchup. Searcy guarding Gilbertson. I think they like the power of Searcy. And athleticism. Oh, back cut? Nope. Good help by Bernetti. You got a kick. I'll reset set the shot clock. Let's see if they screen off for, for Gilbertson right here. They're looking for her. Nope. Tabalachi and Boyle. Tabalachi tries to bounce it through two defenders, trying to get it in there to Jessica James, the senior. Newman doing a really nice job denying Gilbertson the ball. She's been their offense tonight. Let's see if she comes off the screen. There she is. No, here she's got her. Oh, turnover. Brunetti diving for that one. Couldn't get it. Oh, it's going to stay they with Windsor. Ball. Okay. Last touched by Brunetti. So he signaled a kick, but they didn't reset the shot clock. Let's see what they do. Backcourt. Nope. She's good. Tabalachi. Wide open. Nice she dish. can hit it. 
Doyle doesn't get it. Searcy steps out of bounds. But again, another possession for Windsor. Great job scrapping for the loose ball and forcing Reese Searcy out of bounds. It's kept them in this game the entire time. Trying to get Gilbertson going right. Brunetti now guarding Gilbertson up top. Here he comes, coming off the screen. Oh. Brunetti got a hand on that. And the Cardinals do take it away. Leah Leo Martinez, Leo Martinez, very aggressive. Good Martinez shot to the rim. Martinez scores with the left hand. Great shot. She is fearless. Quickly down the court, Skyler. Westover, getting another nice Great spin. Great move there. by Westover at the other end. The Jags hanging in there. She does that very well. So again, the, the driving lane wide open. They're so worried about the three. And Searcy will have a chance for a three-point play. I just see Buck Martinez against two players, just fearless going to the rim. Well done. Only a sophomore. Very bright future for her. Absolutely. One of several sophomores on this team that are really contributing. Cersei completes the old-fashioned three-point play. Okay, a big stretch here is a 10-point lead. This is a big stretch for them. Cardinals turning it up a notch defensively. Yes, Come up are. with another steal. They've got numbers. It should be a wide-open look somewhere. Cersei thought about the three. She ends up giving it to Pena. Again. Pena again to the rack. Janelle Pena has done it twice in a row. Once with the left hand and now this time with the right hand. Again, choosing to guard the three-point shooters and not double-teaming on that lane. They've got lanes all over the place. So you're going to live by the three or live by the drive. Another turnover. Martinez again. Nope. Oh, back the other way. Skyler, Skyler Westover. Good job. Gilbertson going to her right. That's her shot. Yep. Gilbertson will go back to the line. Again, Searcy kicks up. The shot fake. And watch, watch Pena get to the rim. That's a great move for a big. First one is off the mark. Kate Shot checking back in. Gilbertson tightens the game up a little bit. Gilbertson keeping him alive. Okay, big minute here. 11 point lead. Do they guard the drive or do they take away the three? Let's see. Martinez to the rim again. Brunetti, offensive rebound and a tie up. Possession arrow is pointed Newman's way. But again, you see Newman get to the rim anytime they want. They're so concerned about the three that those driving lanes are wide open. There's a three. Abby Mullins. Short the again, but she gets a rebound. Shot has it. Fresh 30 for the Cardinals. Mullins again. Again short. Good rebound again. Hold it for one. Yep, they'll hold for one. Game clock and shot clock are off by about three seconds. Maybe a little less than that. A couple good looks that didn't drop. Again, the drive to the right is wide open. Under 10 seconds. Bernetti. Yeah, travel. Travel. Yep. Lead still at 11. Uh, no foul here. Just let it ride it out. Grace Boyle looks up, fires off the mark. And the quarter comes to an end. Fast and furious, to say the least. And Newman stretches it out a little bit. Definitely their best quarter so far here tonight. <laughs> and it may even just be that they're hitting some layups now, right? I mean, they're getting to the rim anytime they want. They haven't made as many as they'd like. But Windsor needs to make an adjustment. Are they going to lose by giving up the three, or are they going to lose by giving up the drive? they got to do something. So it is 39-28 at the end of three. We'll take a break and be back with more from the jungle in Windsor after this timeout.
Today we ask God's blessing on this center of seeking, learning, and teaching what is true. Even though this is an existing school, in many ways it is now a new school. We dedicate this building to the education of youth, to the progress of the sciences, and to learning. 39-28. We are now ready for the final eight. All right, critical stretch for, for Windsor coming out of the gate here. Down 11. They need to get some good shots. Gilbertson's been their go-to. Matty West, nice move. Kept alive, Searcy has it. We've got Gilbertson on Searcy. Martinez tries to penetrate, cannot. Pena, yeah. a little mismatch yep. there with Novak. She realized it, but couldn't get through the trouble. This is Riley Zwetslut. Now it's Gilbertson. Yep. Pick and roll, they can't get it back to Gilbertson, however, as Wet Sloot will try and penetrate. She ends up dishing out the Maddie West. West, nice spin move, coming back the other direction. Good finish. Very nice. Pretty. Maddie West Pretty. finishes. So Windsor chose to play help defense there, right? So they, we didn't get to the rim. Let's see what happens here. Will they stay in help or will they guard the three? Slapped out. Good defense, right? To Wet Sloot. Great spinner. Watch Maddie West come back the other other direction. And a pretty finish. Leo Martinez to the rim. Nope. Oh. Martinez to the line. But again, now Windsor is contesting that drive instead of letting it happen. Joe P contemplating how he can get his team back in this one. Substitutions checking in. Monica Myrtle on the other side. Joe P's team's done a great job so far. Second one good. Okay. Newman back up by 11. Full court pressure. Let's see what happens. Oh, steal by Martinez. Nope, she's out of bounds. Okay. Caught Windsor a little off guard, but Martinez did step on the line. Agreed. Windsor was not ready. Boyle, Searcy got her from behind. Yeah, she did. That's it. Well, I'm not it's sure if they called the foul. No, they said she stepped out of bounds. Stepped out of bounds, okay. No, nope, no, they didn't. They called the foul. Now yeah, they didn't indicate it to the official. They didn't, you're right. Oh, maybe they called out of bounds. Okay, they said Searcy slapped it out of bounds. Okay. There we go. That we'll figure sense. this out. <laughs> there were some clues. There were some clues. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Another foul. Novak's going to go to the line this time. Novak could get a nice spin move. Tough to contest without fouling. Windsor's done that over and over again tonight. Big free throws here. Mm. Yeah, I really need these. Didn't get the first. Newman has done a better job of not allowing Gilbertson to get a touch. So other people have to step up. Missed them both. Missed them both. Unfortunate. Yeah. Pulled to within single digits. Yep. Instead, now it's Newman with a chance to add to an 11-point lead. Oh, nice by drive. Brunetti got it. Finally, Newman able to get one of those point blankers to fall. Exactly. Great pass that time. Illegal screen? Nope. Cut. Oh, yes, she did. Illegal screen. Okay. Offensive foul. Yep. That call goes against Skyler Westover. Oh, nice no, ball. No, they reversed oh. that. Okay, it goes against Searcy. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, they're in the one and one. Okay. Bonus time. So 
Westover will go to the line. Good free throw shooter. Knock these down. Get your team a little closer. Doesn't Missed get the front, the front end. end. Yep. That hurts. That's huge. So sagging off of Martinez. That allows for the three. And she missed it. Good. Searcy over the top. Oh, my. Very good rebound by Reese Searcy. That's just all effort. Great effort by Searcy. They'll take it back up top. Again, but you can see the help there on the drive. So this three should be open. Nice shot big by Pena. Renetti for three. Renetti got, got it. A rare Julia. three by Renetti, but she can shoot it. And a steal. Martinez oh, great block blocked by Gilbertson. by Gilbertson, and she's fouled. And a foul by Searcy. Players hitting the floor hard. Gilbertson with a great block. Right off the steal from Martinez, who's aggressive going to the rim. But a clean block without the foul. That was pretty. And Depeña over to... Well, that's a play prior with Julia back cut. That was beautiful. Okay, Gilbertson, these free throws again to keep them in this game are huge. Got it. Big one. Now she'll get a bonus. Well done. I got to say, these are free throws 13 and 14 maybe for her. Yeah, she's taking a lot. Jeez. Well done. Well done. Got them both. Yep. And Joe Pasalacqua would like a timeout. So a little chess going on here. We, we sub Mullins back in to shoot the three. Does, is that going to open up the driving lane? Or do they choose to take away the three, or do they choose to take away the drive? Let's see how Coach Joe plays this. Tonight's game is brought to you by McCormick and Company. Homes and loans, a family tradition of experience, trust, and loyalty. Specializing in real estate sales and listings, private money investments, and unique financing. Let our family help your family find a solution to all of your real estate needs. And as proud Cardinal Newman sponsors and alumni, all consultations are complimentary. Call Marty, Roy, or James today at 526-1700. We really appreciate our sponsors, McCormick and Company and W Real Estate, helping us to bring you these live streams and hopefully many more to come in the future. If you'd like to help out, become a part of it, we could certainly use your assistance. Oh, i got to tell you, with, with the quarantine and everything else and, and families not able to watch these games, this live stream is so wonderful. Almost as good as being there in person. <laughs> Maybe better because you get replays, right? Reese Searcy to the rack. again strong. And Searcy's fouled. There's Joe P. Got Searcy the first got the first. So with Shot and Mullins back in the game, that's going to open up some driving lanes for Reese or, or Julia Bernetti. So we'll see how they play this. Well done. Second one good. Windsor needs a bucket here. Westover's done a nice job with the ball all night. Good spin move. Missed it. Pena coming down with it, tied up. Good hustle that time by Jessica James. The oh, no, we're going to get a foul. Uh, I thought that was a tie-up, but, yeah, good effort by James. Almost got her team a second. Foul was on James, in fact. That's going to get Newman closer to the bonus as well. It is. I thought a good hustle play by, by James. So, 
Again, that left side wide open. Good help by Gilbertson. That made a difference. Well done by her. Grace Boyle has it. To the rim strong. Well done. Oh. James is there. Searcy up high it. for the rebound. Again, Reese. shooters all over the place. Mullins. Nope. Boyle again. Nope. Four minutes to go. Key stretch right here for Windsor if they hope to try and come back. Westover three. for three. Five. Got it. Big shot by Westover. Oh, my goodness. Big shot. And Joe P would like another timeout as Westover drills one from long range. Wow. So Gilbertson down the lane. Kicks it back to Westover. Didn't hesitate. Just buried it. Well, Beautiful down, shot. Down 16. That was huge. That gets him to 13 with a little about four minutes left. So Tonight's game is sponsored by W Real Estate. Founded in Sonoma County, W Real Estate has built a solid reputation of excellent customer service, attention to detail, and results. We're a local company with a global marketing program, and our team of professional agents know the North Bay like no other. Consistently recognized as one of the top real estate brokerages in the North Bay, our agents work here, play here, and are active members of the community. Whether you need assistance buying or selling, we provide unparalleled service and expertise that will exceed your expectations. W Real Estate. Huge basket right there, pulling Windsor a little closer. Well, and change momentum a little bit too. Now Carter Newman has to, has to react. Got another angle on it. Again, trailer, kicks it back to her, doesn't hesitate and drills it. They decide to go full court press. Timeout Newman. Well done, Windsor. Caught Windsor off guard, or caught Newman off guard there. So Newman turns and takes a timeout. So good ball game. Back and forth we go. We'll be back with more from Windsor High School in just a moment. Okay, here are three important reasons why your son or daughter should play a sport in high school. Number one. High school sports teach valuable life lessons like self-discipline and time management skills. Two. Teens who play a high school sport have better grade point averages. And number three. High school sports are safer than ever before. This message presented by the North Dakota High School Activities Association and the North Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators. Whoa, tough defense. 3.50 to go. Brunetti has it. Let's see how they play this. Searcy, a drive to the right. No help. And Searcy lays it in. Westover stayed with the shooter. That left the lane open. Gilbertson trying to get her free. Throws it away. Matty West with a height advantage. They're trying to take advantage of that. That's a tough pass. Look at the press. There goes Julia. Brunetti gets it across. No one's right up in the corner. Wait. 15 point nice lead for Newman. For Seriously, nope. They're going to hold the ball. Okay. Newman in no hurry. Again, that drive to the right's wide open. There's a help by Westover. Good. Nice rebound, wow. Leah Martinez. She is a scrappy player. Just does it all. Good defense, scraps for rebounds. Try to hear pick and roll to, to Gilbert. Nope. 17 point lead for Newman. Westover. Gets it to Gilbertson. Yep, going to her right. That's her shot. No, no call. She's been getting that call all night. Do they hold? They'll hold. Again, you see the driving lanes. They're taking the shooters away. So the driving lanes are there. Martinez nice spin move. No call. Oh, and the rebound on her own. Oh, what a great effort. What a great effort. Searcy down the lane. And she's fouled. Again, Leah Martinez with a second chance rebound. Beautiful. 
Those are just backbreakers when you're trying to make a comeback. Two minutes to go. It's an 18 point lead for Newman. By far their biggest lead of the evening here at the jungle in Windsor. Windsor's having a hard time manufacturing some offense, unless it's Gilbert. Another turnover. Leah Martinez. Aggressive as she is, she'll go to the rim. And she lays it in with the left hand. Nicely done, Leah Martinez. Again, just tough finding somebody besides Gilbertson who can put it in the hoop. Yeah, Newman's really taking Gilbertson away in terms of field goals. They fouled her a few times, right. but they've made it tough for her to score from the floor. Again, great defense by Newman. Oh. Again, great defense, Martinez. If you give her the ball there, she's going all the way to the rim, which she did. Skyler had no choice but just kind of get in her way a little bit. Inbound for Windsor. Maddie West, spin it back. There she comes, nice move. Oh, that's a good move, she missed it. Offensive rebound, West again. Got it this well time. Done. Well done. Down 18, but still playing tough. A little over a minute to go now. Turnover. Just a power move by, but ended up being Gilbertson. She is strong. That was Gilbertson. I thought it was Maddie West. Yeah. Hard to tell from our angle. She is strong. Nice back cut by Skyler. Westover, she missed it. Oh, great pass, great back cut. Under a minute to go. Moritzen, nice up and under move, well nice. done. Nice with the left hand, Moritzen scores. Her signature move, well done. Nice pass to West. Oh, she missed it. Monica Myrtle saying no shot, 20 seconds. Just run it out. Great effort by both teams. Newman ends up with the victory yeah. here on the road. And that is 100 league wins in a row for Cardinal Newman. Amazing. No, really great feat. My hat's off to Windsor. They played tough. That was a 20-point finish, but it wasn't a 20-point game. Money stretch. Yeah, no doubt about that. 57-37 does not indicate even close to how good this game was here tonight. And uh, you know, hats off to uh, a lot of players, really. Defensively, Newman was rock solid. Mm -hmm. And uh, Windsor also played very tough defense tonight. It wasn't easy to score for either team. No. Uh, I think Reese Searcy really uh, was the player that really keyed this victory for Newman, able to penetrate and score on the inside when she realized that's what they were, that's what all, all they had. Right. That's exactly right. And on the other end, Gilbertson, they kept going to her. If she didn't hit the shot, she got fouled. She knocked her free throws down. She kept them in the game. All right. Well, that is going to be a final for us. It is 57-37. Newman wins it. Great ball game here tonight at the Jungle. Hope you enjoyed our coverage. We will be back with more action like this in the very near future. So we'll try to bring you as many of these games as we can so that the parents that aren't able to get in can see the action. For Mike Mullins, I'm Dave Cox saying goodbye from Windsor High School.